Hello friends, so today we will be building a hydraulic actuating system model in MATLAB. So uh, basically this system consists of cylinders and a pump which is driven by an electric motor. So the drive generated in this way uh, pushes the oil into the cylinders or from the cylinders back into the pump. So because of this uh, retraction and the extension of the cylinder is possible. So uh, let's start by building this model in Simulink. So I'll just open the library browser. So the first thing which I'll be requiring is a pump. So I'll just type pump. So there are many pumps available in Simulink. So I'll, I need a fixed displacement pump. So I'll just drag this one. So I got my first block. So on double clicking on this fixed displacement pump we can change the parameters inside it. I'll just keep it as default on these values and just change the displacement. And apply. Okay. So the next thing I'll be requiring is to connect this port to an hydraulic reference so for that i'll just drag the hydraulic reference block so so i'll connect this port to here and the other port I'll be connecting it to a uh, directional control wall so for that I just type 4 and from here I'll select or I'll be using a 4 way directional control wall so four way directional wall I'll be using. And I'll connect it to this circuit. So again by double clicking on this wall we can change the parameters as usual. So I'll just change the leakage area or I'll keep the leakage area same and flow distance okay. I'll just keep all these areas same and later we can change if we want so I've got my the next block and the next one I'll be requiring is a pressure relief valve which I'll be connecting it to this circuit so So here is the pressure relief valve. So I better choose this one. This is the pressure relief valve. So I'll connect this A port back here to this connection. And in this pressure relief valve, I'll change the parameters. So this one I'll keep it as to e minus 4 meter square and the wall pressure setting I'll change it to 
the server as well as the valve regulation range and change it to 306 and press apply and ok so this the other connection I will be connecting with later and for, for our next we will be requiring a double acting hydraulic cylinder so and here it is the double acting hydraulic cylinder i just drag it and place it here so now i'll just connect these with the four way directional control board so connect the likes to like terminals and b are connected to b as well okay so double click on this and I'll change the piston area according to my needs and keep both the piston areas same change this one to one four. okay so the next thing I need is a translational spring so it's the translational spring see So I'll connect uh, this set over to here. Okay. So next I'll require a damper as well. So I'll change this. So I've got the damper. I'll place it below the spring and connect the remaining functions. Okay. So now I need uh, another mechanical reference. Translational reference and you can change the direction as well by pressing Ctrl R. So I need it in this way and connect the circuits. So I connect it in this manner and next I require another block. another uh, mechanical translational reference so I'll just press and drag and change use it use the same and change the direction and connect it to the last port of the cylinder and, ne and uh, next I need an ideal angular velocity block So I'll rotate it again. And 
connect this part to a constant value I'll change the value first and keep it one eighty. actually need a PS constant so that's why it is not taking I just write PS constant okay so this one would be working I guess so put the value 188 and connect this one to here okay so I'll consider the constant value now I need uh, another mechanical reference I'll be connecting it to the other port so place it here and connect the remaining port so next I need a converter so for that I'll use a hydraulic converter or a PS converter would be work this converter I'll be using a simple sine wave to generate the curve okay. and I'll change the amplitude of the sine wave 0.103 okay so I've got uh, sine wave here now now and another thing which I'll be requiring is a mass connected to what we have so mass block consider 100 kgs okay so let's let's connect this port as well goes and connects it to reference okay and 
connect this B terminal to here and I will be requiring a hydraulic fluid block as well and connect this one and the solver configuration to solve the block So this completes our circuit and just check it once again if everything is completed and connected. So yes, everything is complete. So our circuit is complete of the hydraulic actuating system. So I'll just run this program. So our program successfully ran, ran and you can just right click on this translational spring and go to same script. Okay, so you get the code here of the same. So you can view the results by just right clicking on this block and go to Simscape view simulation data. So you can see it's the various graphs so there are all the graphs used in this particular function in this way you can view the results so for translational spring you can see all the graphs have been plotted So this was about the hydraulic actuating system model in Simulink, how it is built and the circuit diagram. So this was all about the tutorial. Thank you.